I'm Candace Harris, Board Game Geek. I'm here with Chris Pond from War Cradle Studios, and we are checking out Bill and Ted's Riff in Time. Excellent. Yeah, most excellent. <laughs> most excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, so, what? Tell me about the game. Well, this is we, we've got a new Bill and Ted's film coming out later this year. We haven't, but there is yeah, one coming yeah. out. Yeah. So we're trying to get this released as close to that as possible. It's going to go straight to retail. Cool. Um, this is a uh, it's a, a fast paced <laughs> game about putting the historical personages back in the right location. Oh, throughout very time. cool. Yeah. So you either play as Bill, Ted, Joanna, or Elizabeth. <laughs> um, and you you have to t take turns going around picking up um, different historical Genghis figures Khan and, and taking him back to Outer Mongolia. Gotcha. Once he's back there, you can start repairing the rift. Okay. But every time you take a turn, you're you're drawing one of these yeah. cards from the rift deck. Okay. Um, and that might raise the rift in <laughs> a certain bogus. location. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're kind of playing against the clock. Okay. And it's it's you against the against the game. Okay. Uh, Sandemus is is the, the core nexus of all these time circuits. Oh, this is cool. If that ever reaches twenty, or if it if it goes past twenty, the game finishes and you've lost. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> the entire. Where does it start? Well, does it start it on zero, or depends on the, it, the setup for the it game. It usually starts on four in a four player game. Okay. But of course, the beauty of this is you can you can start it wherever you like. Sure, sure. If you just sure. want to play with your family and your yeah. kids, and you can start it at zero and cool. pretty much ensure that you're going to win and everyone feels gotcha. great. Um, if you really want to challenge the team yeah. uh, and take it to the next level, you can start a bit higher up. And it's it's two to four players. It is, yes, absolutely. Um, you, the game itself comes with cardboard standees for all of the characters, except for the the main characters okay. who are all in plastic. Okay. Uh, but we have an expansion coming out which will provide you with all the, the plastic minis, minis yeah. with Rufus the, as the fifth player. Is, these are great. Uh, and some <laughs> oh, crisis, really? That's, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> and uh, some crisis cards which will ramp up the difficulty as well. Okay. So, so how does a, a, a turn go? Because I see some fun colored dice over here. Yeah, so you, you start off the game with uh, the wild dice, okay. which are the, the yellow dice at okay. the top there. Um, you have four of those <laughs> dice and you roll those oh, and this the, is great. <laughs> yeah so that's that's an interact um, which will allow you to either pick up a character put them in your okay. time booth drop them off or reduce a rift okay. wherever you are you can only reduce the rift once the correct person is placed is in the in right, the right place. location um, and you roll got, something you, to you, reduce the rift? No, you. Uh, that's your action. So oh, at the start okay. of your turn, you roll the dice to determine what, what you, you can, can do. do. Okay. The excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, is like <laughs> be excellent. I love th this. <laughs> that uh, that allows you to do anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, the time booth, uh, which a bogus. is here. Okay. Time booth allows you to move. Okay. That's like a movement. Uh, and bogus will increase the rift. Okay. In whatever location you're so in. So you're you're moving the you know if I'm Ted. I move to a location and then I'm trying to get this historical figure right, and move yep. them somewhere else. Okay. And you have, you have quests that you need to do, tasks here. Okay. So it might be uh, lower the rift, cool. um, other than Sandemus with Charlemagne in Show your time. Show this right over here. So okay. That, that, that's kind of a, every character has one of those to a start special. the game okay. and it, it gives you a, a bonus throughout the game. So that's Oh, a really nice. Long. So when you complete this task, you get a bonus. Yeah. And everybody, everybody's got one. These are great. That's right. And the characters that you pick up will give you different things. So Genghis Khan, as we all know from the film, is a bit chaotic. Yeah. So <laughs> he gives you two of the black dice, which are bogus dice. Okay. And they only contain bogus and blanks. Okay. So um, he will absolutely ruin your day yeah. uh, if you have him in your booth <laughs> little, for too long. A little too wild. <laughs> so the strategy with him is to pick him up and get rid of him. Get him as, as soon as possible. Get so him back get rid to of these Mongolia. bogus dice. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. uh, he can carry on, you know, taking over the world. Very cool. And how long does a typical game uh, last? Game's about an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. So it's quite fast paced. Yeah. It's not yeah. a, you know, it's something you can quite easily pick up and play in an evening without too much bother. Um, and we wanted to pitch it so it was accessible to as many people. Yeah, so, especially you know, the Bill you, and Ted fans. Yeah, like so, so many it's, people. It's are... a real, it can be a real family game, but yeah. actually there is a lot of strategy and tactics involved yeah. in, in winning it. If you want to set the, the difficulty slightly higher, it means that you're really in for a good game and you really have to work together to, to find the optimal right. solution to right. fix your problems. And how do, how do you win? 
remind me? Uh, sorry, you win by putting everybody back. Okay. And repairing all the rifts. Okay. So it's ten rifts you need to repair. Okay. Wait. So is it a cooperative game? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. I I missed miss completely yeah. missed that. <laughs> That's why I was like, how do you get points? Okay, yeah. so everybody's working together, yeah, which, makes sense, game, yeah. which makes sense. Which makes sense. Because why would Bill be against Ted? You yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> um, cool. Well, thanks, Chris. Um, this is Bill and Ted's Riffin' Time, and we're looking for this later this year or around the timing of when the movie comes yep. out, huh? Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris, and thanks for watching. Thank you.